Yeah, everybody. Hope you're doing well so far today. I'm back to annoy you again with my rambling. Um, still trying to figure out um, how I want to do these uh, podcasts. Because I keep thinking that if I do too many different things on one channel, it's just going to be too much. Um, but at the same rate, wanting to do like a daily vlog and then also wanting to do something on mental health, I don't know if I should combine the two or if I should keep them separate. Um, it's kind of uh, difficult just because, I mean, like it would be easier if I just did everything on one channel and that was it. But um, I just, I guess I have a bit of OCD about keeping everything separate and uh, having its own channel and its own, you know, views and its own, or not views, own videos for each channel. Um, which, you know, is because in certain situations I make a video and in order to reach a certain demographic and it's, it may not be the right demographic for what I'm filming or just because of whatever sort of audience I have, which is very minimal at this point in the game, um, which I have, like, no audience, you know, virtually, because, I mean, who am I, you know, and now that I'm just starting off with this stuff. Um, so I'm trying to think of uh, ways to keep things separate but organized, and it's, it's becoming a nightmare. Um, I'm putting a lot of unnecessary pressure and weight on myself and um, it's just uh, it's getting getting to be out of hand I feel like just taking a break for the day and uh, taking a nap taking a nap and then uh, coming back and you know get to work on this stuff because um, this because this I treat it like it like it is a job I mean I do a lot of things throughout the day, mostly based around my vlog, um, which is, uh, you know, is my main um, focus at the moment. Um, so it's just uh, I'm trying to put everything into it, I'm trying to make it interesting. I mean, I've seen I've seen other people's vlogs, and yeah, they got a lot of uh, interesting things going on and I myself, I don't really find myself very interesting. Um, I'm just talking about my day-to-day -day stuff and ch trying to explain to you guys what who don't know what it's like to live with like chronic depression and anxiety and uh, you know schizophrenia um, especially the paranoid part. I haven't felt the paranoia for a while which is good because for a while there I just I wouldn't leave my apartment um, just because of the, uh, paranoia, um, it got really bad. It's still there sometimes, it lingers a little bit, but, um, it's definitely a lot better than what it was. Um, you know, and I, I have to attribute that to my medications, unfortunately, because I, I think that if I wasn't on them, I'd be in bad shape. But the thing is, is, is like I've said multiple times, is the, um, medication is it's like a double-edged sword it helps you but then it also hinders you it's, it's like I don't know why they can't figure out how to make medications that don't have side effects especially some of the side effects that like like having a low white blood cell count like couldn't they figure that out without having that being a, an issue I mean like I don't know how they make medicine or anything but if they know how to make medicine they should know how to make it without side effects uh, I don't know it's just me I don't know anything about that stuff though but it's um it makes things really difficult you know um so but today is turned out to be a nice day it was snowing earlier um but it is nice and sunny out right now that makes me kind of want to go do something but um i'm also at the point where i want to take a nap just because i'm flustered and overwhelmed and um uh, i'm trying to keep stuff straight. I've been using this notebook to write down my ideas and uh, things I gotta do. And, uh, I mean, it's helping to keep things, kind of helping to keep things, um, in order. Um, I mean, I've got, I've got, like I said, i got this notebook. i got this notebook of stuff. I've got 
this bulletin board with post-it notes all over it, which there's not even enough room for all the post-it notes. I have my calendar. I, I have, um, down here is my filing cabinet. Like, I got, I try to keep everything very, very organized. <coughs> um, that and I'm probably going to get a bookshelf soon. If not, I'll probably just use this, this uh, TV stand. As a, as a bookshelf, because I'm using it for a, a stand anyways now, so, um, yeah, I don't know, I just need, I just need order in things, and, um, let's see what this is, 401, 401, so, yeah, but, um, I don't know, I know it's like the middle of the day and it's nice out, but I just feel like I need a nap. I think it's because of lack of caffeine. It, like I said before, it makes it hard to get through the day. <sighs> Sorry. Oh yeah, the no caffeine. Like it's tough because my my r routine was I'd get up in the morning, turn the computer on, get a cup of coffee, have some breakfast, drink some coffee, then I'd be good to go. <coughs> but um. And trying to stay away from the sugar and the caffeine and the acidity of the coffee. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I've been trying to stay away from that kind of stuff for a while now. Um, well, I don't know. I'm just trying to eat healthy, just in general. And it's tough. Um, thankfully, they have like frozen vegetables and frozen fruit and stuff to make it cheaper. Um, I just gotta figure out, I still gotta figure out a diet, like a weekly diet. Um, it's not gonna consist of much food at all because, well, unless I get this job, I'm not gonna have too much money to spend on food as it is. I, right now, um, with all my bills figured out, I have about, I'd say $20 per week for food. That, that's not a lot of money at all for food. I mean, obviously, you can do the math. Um, it's it's a lot of pasta and ramen, if anything. But um yeah, that's all I got. I got like twenty bucks a week for food and twenty bucks a week for gas. And uh sometimes I, I clip into that uh gas money. 